honeybee colonies are dying at frightening rates worldwide. Pollinators are facing rapid decline due to pesticides, deadly viruses and changing weather conditions. Even the hardy South African bees are under siege. Ivan Leroy Brown, a design student at the University of Johannesburg, has been monitoring the problem. There's a lot of problems that are affecting the bees at the moment around the world. Some of the biggest ones are American fowl brood, which is a bacterial disease, and the pesticides, the use of pesticides, sulfur and radiation, and they're all contributing to a global crisis of bees. In South Africa, our biggest problem is theft and vandalism, also honey badgers, um, people stealing hives or stealing honey from hives, and that's really affecting the beekeepers, and they're losing up to about 30% of their equipment each month. Um, in the field. To address South Africa's beekeeping problem, Brown has come up with a simple but effective design. Making out of concrete protects it from a lot of the problems, but also using concrete as a way to, to make the, the manufacture of the beehive more accessible, where instead of using carpentry tools in a workshop, you'd be able to have a mold and just having cement and the different aggregates produce as many of the beehives as you want with no electricity and in a low-tech manner. The concrete itself will protect the, the bees from certain pests that in the wooden hives are able to bore into the wood and lay eggs inside the wood. This, I'm aiming to remove that problem with the concrete. Brown solution is also an affordable one and lends a hand at urban farmers who wish to adopt beekeeping. I'm trying to find a solution that will make a more sustainable beekeeping industry but also help the urban farmers and other farmers as well, but also to protect their pollinators. Beekeepers are practicing migratory beekeeping. It's good and it's a good income source and it, it pollinates our food crops, but it also transports the diseases and pests all over the country, all over the world in fact, and that's really a detriment to beekeeping. Whereas if farmers themselves were more equipped or, or had the, the opportunity to beekeep or keep bees and protect their own pollinators, they wouldn't have to rent out hives and force beekeepers to transport their bees all over the country. Brown is still testing his Begin beehive, but hopes his design will fight back the sharp and worrying decline in bee populations, allowing bees to gather pollen in peace, whilst at the same time helping urban beekeepers. Julie Shire, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.